This is giving out prayer cards in Africa. I don't know which one of the native meetings it is. But when we had the meetings there, we had to have the natives of an afternoon and the whites of a night because they wouldn't let them mix. The only place they could be together, which we didn't know, was where the Lord told him to go to Durban. And there they had big iron gates, and they separated them. But they could all be in the same meeting, but here they didn't. They had the afternoon was the colored people, the blacks. And of a nighttime, they'd go in, into the halls and have them. But they wouldn't let them come in the halls. We just had to have them in open fields. Ah, it was wonderful. That's but, Brother Julius Dasclip with me, having me give my prayer cards. I was only 15 years old there. But you, but you get to thinking there, you know, the people you see them suffering, you want everybody to have a prayer card. And I'll have to be honest with you, I look for the worst cases because I knew God was going to heal them. I wanted to see them get an EO, you know. But, but that was what we done to try to keep them from, you know, just climb away. Because when they see one person healed, they're just like, I don't mean it wrong, it's like cattle. They just stampede. They just come right to the platform. Man, they want they wanted to be healed, too. And there, was, there was no stopping them because you couldn't get them, you know, the time, you couldn't get them to understand what they had to do to receive it. It didn't make any difference to them, man. They ain't seen that happen. They was ready. Then what he'd do after a little while, he, he'd, he'd bring one up like a cripple, and the Lord would heal him, or blind, or deaf, or something like that. And then, and then he'd say, "He'll do the same for you." Now I can't lay my hands on you because there's too many of you, but you lay your hands on one another. And he said, "Do you believe?" And he did. Boy, he prayed one prayer and thousands. I mean, just instant. One time in Durban, one time, they called us at the hotel. He said, "Brother Ben, go look out the balcony of your window." We went out there, and Daddy was, and I was staying in the same room. Went out there, and there was seven of them big cattle trucks with old clubs and old cots and stretchers and hundreds of people coming behind behind these seven trucks singing Only Believe. Went right down through the whole streets of Durban. Yes, sir. But, you know, he said, when I went there, he said, God said, I give you all of South Africa. You can't go there nowhere unless they know him. That's right.